Okay. It's um, night of May 18th. Uh, I am in Damascus, Virginia. Um, it's been an interesting day. I uh, I um, was trying. I've been trying to get for, get a ride down here for a couple of days, and uh, and I had um, uh, folks that were up here either came up here walking or the people who had ridden uh, had gotten their ride and essentially had left me or basically hadn't taken me. And I was kind of bummed. Um, got up this morning with uh, two young ladies uh, who showed up at one o'clock last night. Uh, they were going to be doing 14 miles and they were section hikers and it was going to be nice for them. So I, so we chatted and um, there was a, uh, a couple that were coming down and had found a uh, lost puppy it had a collar uh, and a lot of ticks. Um, they called the number, and from what I understand, is that the owner came and picked the puppy up at the at the ranger station. And so while I'm checking out everything, they go ahead and they would go ahead, go ahead and leave, and I check out. Um, I'm checking out Facebook and and uh, email and stuff to see if I can or and my messages see if I, uh, anybody contacted or communicated back about getting here to Damascus and nothing. And so I'm getting ready to get on, you know, put the pack on my back and go down the hit trail. And I meet the third Ridge Runner. So Nick was the Ridge Runner at the other end at uh, Fontana Dam. Uh, Morgan Kelly was the Ridge Runner um, around near Clingman's Dome. And Chloe was the ridge runner for the the north side uh, past Newfound Gap. And she showed up with uh, Will, who was the uh, backcountry ranger. So uh, they say that um, I'm one of the very few who actually, few through hikers actually get to meet all three ridge runners and backcountry ranger. So, um, so then I went ahead and hiked down and... Um, went down and around and uh, if it wasn't for my hip uh, I probably would have taken a lot more pictures of or I would have taken pictures of the uh, creek that uh, I was passing alongside of because it was pretty um, quite honestly most hikes that I go on the water elements are the most uh, attractive which it makes this Appalachian Trail more irritating because we're at the tops of mountains instead of in the middles, so we don't really get to see a lot of um, of waterfalls and cascades and whatever. Um, so I get to the I get to um, so I get to um, uh, Standing Bear Farm, and I find I go ahead and uh, get a do the do it where I'm staying at the hostel, and. I find out that one, they're putting together a trip to Damascus. I go, ooh, so I sign me up. And two, that they have plenty for me to do on work on work for stay. So all of my good things uh, are happening today. It's going to rain tomorrow, um, and yes, it's going to rain tomorrow. Um, so we get up here, and actually, we we leave on the van coming up here. And we get halfway, just about exactly halfway, and the tire blows out. And um, kind of not even a normal, it kind of just, you know, ruptures through the, uh, the belt. The belt just kind of ruptures, like well, we ran over a really hard rock um, that just poked up and it just wore through. Anyway, uh, and so we go to, we take out the spare and realize that there is no... Um, there is no jack, nor is there a um, wrench to take off the lug nuts. And so, so we call a uh, roadside service bunch, and they're going to be there in a half hour. Well, about 15, 20 minutes later, a uh, highway patrolman shows up, and he has a jack, and he has uh, um, a wrench to do the lug nuts. And so we call the roadside service and say, don't bother coming. And we replace the tire, 
and we load up and keep on going. And uh, we got here to Damascus after dark, after all the things that were going on. And I set up my tent in a field. Um, you know, we pay five dollars for a uh, for a. Can you see it? For a wristband, and uh, maybe you can't see it. All right. For a, can you see? Uh, all right, it's not working. All right. Uh, so we hit for for a wristband, and we can set up our tents now. Since it's going to rain tomorrow, but we're also going to be here a couple more days. I feel my tent will probably be dry by Sunday morning when we're heading out of here. So basically, it's uh, one, two, three nights uh, for five dollars. And then they have um, yeah, a fair amount of free stuff and a few um, um, benefits that um, you know for uh, that you can pay and get a uh, good breakfast and lunch or whatever. So itinerary is um, uh, really varied for tomorrow, so it'll be fun. Saturday there will apparently be a parade of the hikers uh, down uh, their main street. And uh, I'll keep you up to date. Anyway, that's the uh, way it is tonight. Pretty good news. Um, of course, I've used up all my battery and my um, and my solar charged uh, uh, light. So that's kind of interesting. All right. Anyway, that's it. Have a good night.